just funny. Sometimes you want to be your own boss and then you don't want to shoulder all the risk and burden. And so you just enjoy. Sip your coffee and learn something new. This is my version of an old fashioned. And I'm using whiskey, but I I prefer bourbon. It just has a smoother taste. And I this isn't my favorite whiskey, but it's what I had on hand. So I poured two ounces into my measuring cup because I realized my variety of shot glasses were all different sizes. Um, so I added some bitters and this is simple syrup that I made and it lasts a month. So I basically just made it out of sugar and water and put it in the fridge. And now I'm cutting up some lemon before I have tried it with a slice of lime and that's worked great. I've also tried it with an orange slice and that also worked great too. So just something kind of citrusy and you don't really need it because the orange bitters that I added kind of create that citrus taste. So what am I doing here? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I'm finding a container for my lemon wedge and then I realized it is too tall for the lid and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna slice it up and that way when I'm making another drink or cooking, it's already prepped. So here I am slicing the lemons behind my measuring cup so you can't super see. And yeah, I put them in my little Tupperware and the next step, I believe I'm going to add some, a cherry and then some ice cubes and that, that's the recipe. So basically this cherry, you can get it from a liquor store or you can get it from Walmart, which is where I got mine from. And I actually found it in the sundae, the ice cream sundae section, but you could also find it in their spirits section as well. So I put a few ice cubes in here and then I did give that um, the mix a little stir and then I just kind of pour the whole thing in. Easy peasy. So my struggle bus moment is I'm trying to get one of the lemon wedges on the top. <laughs> just for aesthetic value and so that was what I was doing and I'm putting everything away and then I'm gonna make a bag of popcorn <laughs> this is my one-handed attempt at opening the bag while also filming and a little trick to know about popcorn settings on the microwave is there are popcorn settings based on the size of the bag and so if you just press popcorn which I accidentally did defrost here. But if you press popcorn, it'll ask you how many ounces. And so I just selected the ounces and just popped it in there. It felt so good to have an evening to relax and snack and not be doing a bunch of problem fixing activities such as researching how to get a driver's license and going to orchestra rehearsal. So I just lit my candle and enjoyed. <laughs> vlog when I was sharing about feeling overwhelmed a thing that also I needed to do last week was get an oil change so I decided to spend my Saturday morning watching Family Guy <laughs> drinking coffee reading and I finished my challenge the literary challenge you have to read five books um, before March and so I finished the last few pages in the car I was at the library 10 minutes before it opened just because it was right next door to the Firestone and I got this lovely mug it is so pretty and I just had such a sense of accomplishment in knowing that I read some books and I finished a challenge so I got some books that you saw earlier there 
and it was my first time at this library and it was super nice and there was a Hello Kitty collection there then I went to Aldi's I just, I just want to document this I'm not a morning person and it's not even 11 and I have pretty good oil change turn in my book reading challenge at the library got new books went grocery shopping so yeah I'm actually really enjoying the morning the sun's out there, I was actually at the library 10 minutes before it opened because it was right next to Firestone. And there were like five or six other people waiting in their cars waiting for the library to open. And it's just a whole other world, this morning, Saturday morning world. Although it's not even that early. The cashier at Aldi wakes up at four every morning. So I woke up at eight, which is not even early, but is very early for me who is more of an evening person, but yeah, grocery shopping in the morning is really nice, actually. I get home, I wash my new mug, and I make another cup of coffee, and I'll just show you my little grocery haul from Aldi's, which I actually really enjoy going because they have really great produce and great deals. I was in a new section at the library and they had some really interesting books. Um, one just talking about how clever Jesus is, one about emotional intelligence, and then another one just kind of connecting spiritual life with work, which was really exciting. So yeah, I'm excited to read. Grocery haul from Aldi's. I got these Amazon chips. Spaghetti. Mushrooms, brie cheese, mushroom risotto, a seedless cucumber, pork carnitas, and this really cool, like eyeshadow palette. It is so pretty. Let's see if I can get it to open. So it's just like this really, really beautiful box. And it has a brush and these gorgeous colors. Like I love the shades on here. It's so nice. And this whole haul was $24.84. That's pretty amazing. That is one of the reasons why I like shopping at Aldi because I don't know if I'm going to come back with eyeshadow or a candle or just some random little home thing that you can't always just find at Trader Joe's. And I like this case a lot. It had a mirror and a brush and the colors were just so nice. The lazy way of making coffee is just basically dumping milk and then frothing it with a hand frother and it takes like five seconds and tastes pretty alright. 